Nashukuru Bwana, I thank God for being born again this morning and this afternoon. The Lord is my Savior. Jesus Christ is my deliverer. He is my shomar. He is my wisdom. He is my counsel. And I can't do whatever anything without Him. And for that reason, I'm here because I'm a, I'm a making of God. I'm a vessel that is fashioned of God and a tool that God has fashioned. So I'm humbled to know that what I am is the doing of God. Um, today I want, as we enter uh, part number 10 of, uh, of our series that I were to share on Sunday, uh, I'm quickened by the Lord to share. I'll be sharing these prophecies in piecemeal today, tomorrow. Throughout this week, I'll be sharing prophecies bit by bit. But today, I want to congratulate and uh, thank God so much for those who are remnants uh, and the children of the remnants. I, I congratulate um, the Gen Z, um, uh, Gen Z uh, Uprise. I really congratulate them because they are the army of the Lord. So my congratulations to them for standing firm and voicing, uh, voicing it aloud uh, so that um, the church can hear that uh, politicians are not needed in the church. I thank God the prophecy has come to fulfillment because I shared this one too and about three years ago, that's before the elections I shared. Actually, even four years ago, they actually have prophecies on, the, on YouTube where I had shared denouncing uh, and I, I, I remember there's a prophecy where God warned that he'll destroy, uh, he'll destroy the clergy and he'll destroy politicians because of, the, the, uh, because of uh, defiling his sanctuary. And uh, the uprise by this Gen Z is actually uh, founded on such prophecies. So it's just a matter of time uh, that uh, God will find an army to use. And so God has found them. So they are echoing, they are trumpeting it loud than myself because people ignored my voice. Hmm? From the king to the chief, they paraded churches uh, in pretext of, of helping God with finances. Helping God building the houses, yet they are helping God with stolen funds. So today I congratulate the Gen Zs for uh, being army of God, uh, sounding it aloud that uh, in church we don't allow politics. And that in church we don't allow those stupid games. And that in church we don't allow gambling. And in church God does not allow business. There is no merchandise in church. So there is no commerce in church. Jesus whipped uh, merchants, uh, commercial merchants from, from the church. And he whipped them single-handedly. And today, Jesus is doing the same through the Gen Z, um, uh, Gen Z army. So may the Lord grace them to continue. And uh, I'm praying for them because I don't want them being slaughtered like goats and like chicken. And um, that one, uh, we want to remind um, uh, Captain uh, Ruto, you, you also supported Gen Z's. And you say that you celebrate them and that uh, they are united people. So why are, uh, why are there some, uh, why are there those killings that uh, we are seeing? And also, why are the police, uh, why are they, uh, there are moles? Why are moles uh, infiltrating the Gen Z protest? I think the government should be knowing that uh, the Gen Z's are being infiltrated. They have been infiltrated by criminals. And some of these criminals are government moles. They are government operatives. And also they are, they are also funded. So they are moles who have actually penetrated those uh, demonstrations. And some of those moles are government operatives. It is very sad that uh, one, on one hand, uh, the captain is saying uh, something, then on the other hand, he's allowing a lot of wickedness against the very same people he purports to want to support. I don't think he was, uh, I don't think that uh, William Ruto is sincere. He's not sincere. Just the same way he was never sincere with Raila Odinga. He cheated him. Many times he has cheated uh, the opposition. I don't think that uh, William Ruto means seriousness. I don't think he's honest and he'll be honest with the Gen Z. Um, uh, army is not sincere. The day will be sincere, it will be, it will be known. But as, as, at, at, as it is right now, 
there are malls that have been bought and they are paid and they are penetrating uh, the protest by the Gen Z army and these malls they are out to be to, to actually soil and discredit uh, the Gen Z noble cause which is actually born of God I don't think Gen Z's were thugs and I don't think that they were thieves I think those who penetrated are actually um, uh, schemed by the devil to want to defeat the purpose that otherwise has been a noble cause. Um, and I believe that uh, what I'm saying make it uh, actually should not make sense. It is just obvious and clear. So uh, we know and we are watching. And uh, we are praying accordingly in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, for that reason, uh, Kenyans better know that um, the J Kenya's Gen Z uh, army, uh, their uprise will not stop. Like I told you then that it won't, it won't stop. It will continue. Uh, and actually, it is uh, transforming into uh, a revolution. I told Kenya some time back in my prophecies, that uh, Kenya will actually have a revolution. I have those prophecies that I, if people care to listen, go listen to them. Uh, and in them, there's a lot that I said. I may not be very specific on which ones. But I remember saying that Kenya will be like other nations like uh, DRC Congo. Kenya will be like other nations uh, like, uh, uh, like the way Syria happened. Why? Because you have a captain uh, who has taken a path that was not of God. So I told you about demonstrations and also told you about um, those protests. Early enough when I told you that Ruto will be rejected, he will never step in Mount Kenya. I told you that uh, Ruto will be rejected, that uh, walking the streets of Nairobi will have to be really guarded. I told you that um, anybody associated with Ruto, mentioning the word Ruto, or being known that to associate with him, will make you an enemy of the of the citizens. Look at the speed with which these prophecies are being fulfilled. Kawambia, that uh, the very Mount Kenya that celebrated Ruto into power, <laughs> they'll be his greatest enemy. And I say that Ruto won't like it. I say there is a storm coming from Mount Kenya. Ruto, you won't love it. Today, that's the truth. And he's not loving it. And those who support him also are not loving it. And I say that Ruto will be rejected plus in his own village. And his own natives will regret why they voted him. Even if he give them roads and he give them airports. His own natives will turn their back on him. He may employ machineries that he wants to employ like also employing the witches and um, the tribal witches and tribal uh, you know tribal priests and tribal um, uh, tribal elders we call them what we call them uh, tribal kings it won't change anything it will just make things worse and if Ruto wants to hear and I know you always hear but they laugh uh, I don't think this time Ruto will want to laugh I don't think Ruto will want to take me for a joke anymore the things I say, I am given by God to speak them. And uh, for, for Ruto, the die is cast. You won't recover. Ruto will not recover. He is sliding, he will slide until he hits the rock bottom. This is because God said so. <laughs> he had time to heal himself, to make his ways right. He didn't. So, Nimtele Zom Paka Mwisho. And the best thing that Tutu should do is to plan for his exit. Plan your exit. And I said, Kwamba, Panga Nyumbayako. I said it last year. God will strike State House. God will strike State House. God will strike State House. So, uh, put your house in order. It is there in the YouTube. Kama likata kuyona sai please muta aone. The links are there. Uh, maybe even media display to you. That um, I said it. That God will strike you. Angels of God will strike State House. And uh, I say, Ruto, make provision for your exit.
put your house in order. It's also told the clergy, put your houses in order. Because judgment is coming. The difference between a prophet and other people is that uh, we get it from God. We have been given eyes to see when God wants us to see. And so I did the nation a favor and I obeyed God by declaring it. But they never, never cared about listening. It is too late. There is a dimension of a prophet being a warning. So I give warnings. Then there is a dimension of my ministry where I give revelations. There is a dimension where I declare judgment because warnings were ignored. And so all of them happen at the same time. So I am in the office of oracles. So I give oracles. Some of them I give when I'm preaching. So for Ruto, please even the government where you are, all government operatives, listen. There's nothing you will save. Uh, it won't be sweet between now and the next uh, uh, and some months ahead it won't be sweet because even if Ruto refuses uh, Ruto has lost it and he hasn't lost it because he, because, uh, uh, because he wants he has lost it because number one it is the fate of God judgment of God so it cannot be salvaged so let uh, the nation hear very well that Ruto won't save it. There's no wisdom that will save Ruto to remain uh, in power. Things won't be the same again. It won't be the same. What has started uh, is boiling. And the best that Ruto can do to save the nation is to plan to relinquish power. I'll tell you on Friday um, how that will be. I'll tell you more about this one. So I pray that State House, uh, because right now also, Nawahurumia, please muta friendi kunisikia, lakini musinikudia kunitafuta hapa kanisani. Munisikia tukule, mana I won't give you an appointment. I don't want appointment with Ruto. And so please, I won't give appointment to Rachel Ruto. Nimewajibu. So do not send persons that uh, they should talk to me. I'll talk to you openly. Kwa mtandao. Also, for Riley Odinga, the door is closed. I, I won't have an audience with you. Uh, the door is closed. The best you can have is Mutandaoni. So, there is no more such favors. So, you and your group, what you do with the prophecy I give you, uh, make sure that uh, you, you, you work with them in your favor. And I, if you really want to be receiving from me, stop hearing those false prophets stop hearing because I don't want to mix myself. You hear me, then you go hear them. Uh, but um, I'll give uh, directions uh, to both William Ruto and uh, Raila Odinga. On, uh, in between, I don't know that it will be tomorrow, depending on what my boss tells me. If he tells me tomorrow, tells me on Thursday, says Friday. So those are handlers who handle Raila Odinga. Uh, I have told you what you must write in your diaries. Uh, but for William Ruto, it is over. It is over. Um, I may want to say a lot, but uh, today really, I just heard that one about the GNZs, which I regret the blood that has been shed, and I also regret the massacre in Gidurai, uh, which uh, is not receiving attention, but... Uh, in the realm of the spirit, a lot of blood has been shed over the nation of Kenya. So we are entering the month of August, the month of Kenya shedding blood. Both these two months of July and the month of August, they are actually months that uh, this nation covenanted or got itself covenanted um, to, 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 to blood vampire demons. And uh, such blood are actually... Uh, uh, are actually strengthening covenants that uh, are working on this land. These covenants are covenants that uh, sustain uh, politicians in power. Also, these covenants are covenants that um, sustain uh, diviners uh, who hide in churches. These are the covenants that sustain them, but you think that they are servants of God. So, there's a lot of blood uh, that actually is used in the Republic to really strengthen altars and to bind the nation into covenant. So, certainly must be paid. And those demons are being paid. 
And so you find that there are agents who are like pastors, bishops, prophets, apostles, evangelists, miracle workers. Some of them are in government. They're using those covenants to actually, uh, it is actually, it's like uh, configured. It is like, uh, it is something already configured that blood must be shed. So they find themselves shedding blood even if they don't want. And so there are actually altars in Kenya that must suck blood. Uh, they do so because they have legal grounds. So it means I'm a famous and started. Uh, we have seen bloodshed in June, <laughs> bloodshed in July, and in July will still have bloodshed. Uh, Nairobi, Mujipande, some people must have. Please, Mohammed to Nairobi. When I was to Nairobi, just to have, if you have a house outside Nairobi, plan to go and uh, just go yourself. Uh, we have remnants who will stand for Nairobi. So if you're not a remnant, please talk at Nairobi. Uh, but leave Nairobi for those who know how to fight. Leave Nairobi for those who know how to survive. Leave Nairobi for those who know how to pray. Leave Nairobi. Because Nairobi uh, will have a lot of uh, criminal outfits. And I want the government before I work on the So for those of us who are in Nairobi and you have a safety net, you may need to leave Nairobi. Because uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of bloodshed in Nairobi. Uh, those who are remnants, get yourself into prayer. Watch you and pray. Uh, watch you and pray because Satan never gives up a battle easily. Even when God fights, Satan also puts up a fight. And uh, the reason why Satan will be like uh, uh, trying to hold some places is because he has a legal ground. But the judgment of God, which I told you, plague number eight, will finish its work before plague number nine comes. Uh, I'll be very prophetic um, between now and uh, you know, to the very end, they are telling you a lot of things in God. So let no one bring shit on our walls. Let no one import um, dirtiness and uh, you know, uh, contrary voice on our walls. If you are not, our wall is not a wall of democracy. There is no democracy in church. So no one should politic on our church walls, especially YouTube. It is no politics. The moment you appear like you want to politic, uh, I authorize our admins and uh, all our moderators to come away from the and I'm going to block you. So uh, I'll be sharing a lot about the things that will be happening. So it will be very sweet. And that's why for us as a church, we, rally, uh, we are rallying prayer and fasting. Uh, not, uh, not for other people's benefit. But for your own shamar, for your own shamar and the shamar of them that are, are remnants in Christ Jesus. Uh, about um, about uh, America, uh, I share an oracle, and there's a prophetic um, oracle, uh, prophet oracle, uh, on the USA, and uh, this is not the first one. I shared when um, I shared some three or four years ago about. Uh, about uh, Joe Biden uh, versus um, Donald Trump. And I, I told America, Donald Trump was the God's choice for you and he was to remain in power. But um, the dark world in, uh, in the USA, who also owns a lot of money and resources, they actually uh, did what um, they did to Kenya. And that's how Kenya and uh, the US are twins. Kenya and the U.S. are like uh, Siamese twins. So you find that what happens in America happens also uh, in Kenya. And so we are like uh, Siamese twins. And uh, that's quite um, unfortunate. And so as you see, the age of Biden lives, uh, is also living power and not living very nicely. In the same way also, William Ruto will leave power and will not be sweet. For Joe Biden, uh, the revelations about Job and these visions are now many enough. And they all actually boil down to one thing, confirming that Job Eden will be is being haunted from the office. And God has a hand in it. Judgment has come back to, to them because uh, number one, Biden has a curse of God. The curse of God over uh, Job Eden is called Joseph Biden. Is because Joseph Biden is not a formation of God. And um, his being in the office never meant a blessing for the United States of America. It spelled doom. 
I told you in time that uh, the coming in of uh, Joseph Biden will mark the beginning of uh, eroding the gains that America's church had already gotten. America had actually made some gains in matters of uh, seeking God, not very much, but where they had reached, Biden's coming was just to erode it. And uh, he successfully eroded it. So the church in America is more dead uh, than before. And uh, those who are elites or those who were, uh, we call them elect, uh, most of them have fallen under Biden. So look at America. In, Amer in uh, Joe Biden's, during Joe Biden's administration, uh, we have seen a lot of um, church elect, a lot of them falling. A lot of them have fallen. They have been an embarrassment to the church of Jesus. More than any other time in America's church history. It has been this the time you see the big names have fallen. Coincidentally, look at it. It has happened under uh, while America is in the administration, under the administration of jo Joseph Biden. And uh, this confirms the prophecy I gave those years back. That... Um, Job be then will actually be used of the enemy to erode the spiritual gains that the America's church has made. So the church in America has no voice as such in comparison to those other years. And that's because Job be then opened the floodgates for these uh, dark, uh, dark forces, uh, dark forces that are fronting uh, these queer, queer groups, very queer satanic groups. Biden has given them uh, open gates. And under Biden, we have seen a lot of things as, uh, you know, children being, uh, being born out of science. You know, science, science being funded uh, so much that um, they are trying to create, clone, and uh, mix seed and all that. And, um, they, and Biden and his, uh, his uh, supporters financially, they are campaigners, they are campaigning for anti-God anti-God's processes whether in terms of food or human or human beings so a lot of things are happening and uh, unfortunately those are some of the monies that Kenya is receiving as aid and uh, William Ruto has been the open basket to receive them and such monies have landed in Kenya's churches they land in our you know our Kenyan roads and uh, all that in the names of grants and uh, aid and uh, financial support God has a case against Joseph Biden and against William Bruto. They'll be striked the same. They are a pair that God is striking the same. Both of them, there's something eating them up. Plague number nine that will, is, that will devour Ruto is the plague number, uh, is the same, same plague that will devour uh, Joseph Biden. So, both of them will die deaths that are almost similar. So, watch. All of them, uh, they'll die deaths that are almost look similar. Some will tell me, oh, Job Eden dies because he'll be old by the time he's dying. And it won't take long. Similarly, uh, William Luther also, his won't take long. Someone check the prophets I've been sharing. Been burn the midnight oil. So that you get to know exactly what am I saying. So they are out there. So um, Biden uh, suffers the curse of God. And all of us remember the prophecies that are and vision that have been shared here for a long time. Plus the latest where worms are really uh, eating Joe Biden's uh, body. These are things in the realm of the spirit that will manifest in the physical. So it's just but a matter of time. For America, prepare. And I want to say the black Americans. Uh, Biden is God's choice for you. And so the blacks, the best you can do is just what you mean. So let the black community in America, I know that you had, uh, you had beef with, uh, with Donald Trump. You had a lot of beef with him. And, uh, and you really felt that he's a demon and that you shouldn't be president. And you celebrated when Biden came to power because Biden was associated with Obama. But let me tell you this one. God does not vote that way. God showed that Trump was his choice. And you people uh, settle for Joe Biden. Look at where Biden has brought America to. America has become a toothless 
<laughs> barking dog. Actually, it just barks and it barks like a lazy dog. America barks like a lazy dog. In the terms of George Bush, hmm, America will just bark and bite. But uh, you compare George Bush and Clinton, then Clinton was just another conservative. Uh, America needs a bull. A bull called Trump. And God has given you Trump. The bull will win the elections in the United States of America. Actually, it's not really winning. It's recovery because it was stolen. So it will be recovering of what got lost. And that will put uh, Biden, uh, you know, uh, to, you know, will put him squarely uh, into maybe having some three terms because he had one term and they may he may play uh, it very well to have another term in ext I mean extending to, uh, to this one that he's going to have. So for that way, America, Donald Trump actually is the choice of God for you. And even if the black Americans you choose not to vote him, you cannot win against God. So I'll tell you for your favor, let the blacks, the Kenyans who are in America and uh, the blacks community who are in America swallow your pride. Vote Donald Trump because it's God's choice. Uh, Biden is going home. And uh, God will actually show a lot of faults. I told you, a lot of weaknesses. And uh, God will actually make him look so much of an embarrassment. Those prophecies are shared back there. But I realize that uh, Americans love, um, they love popu uh, popular prophecies, which are me, myself, I don't give. So maybe they will love those other witches to give them. But for me, I'm a servant of God. I give you what God has given me. Uh, there's an agenda, I say, that God did not finish with Donald Trump. So God will finish it with Donald Trump. So for Donald Trump, it is about unfinished business, which was interrupted by Joe Biden's uh, being sneaked in by the powerful New Ages movement in America. The New Age movement, they are really wealthy. They're very moneyed and they really oil politicians in the USA. And uh, they were able to uh, outwit um, Trump's Kenyan style. So uh, this time Don, uh, Donald Trump is being restored by God. Uh, and it's not about his own strength. It is being uh, enabled by God. So those are, uh, those are matrices, spiritual matrix that um, God is at play. And God will do so because America needs evangelism. And uh, so the bull that will sit at the archelons of power is called Donald Trump. Uh, so, so sorry for Obama and his bidden. Uh, they have to pack their, their stuff and leave. So I have told you the curse of God, it's bidden. So America's, those who have heard me start circulating it and let every black know that um, Donald Trump is God's choice and uh, he'll win the elections uh, uh, square and clean. So this time around, if uh, the black, uh, if the, uh, the New Ages movement want to pull another trick, let them try this time and they won't succeed. So even if they pull their tricks and all the machinery in the managing and winning elections, I don't think this time it will be possible. So someone tell Donald Trump that uh, he is set uh, to occupy the, the office at the White House. For our own Raila Odinga, uh, you prepare yourself, although you, you look so um, sometimes confused. And I told you that uh, I won't say anything about uh, you. <laughs> I've been keeping quiet. And I think Raila should know Nijakom with no, with no ring. So God will want to finish the agenda of Pandehu, so I'll be saying something to the same effect on Friday. Those with the ears, hear the word of God. So I think uh, Biden coming into, I mean, going and Donald Trump getting into power will set stage for me to be able to roam, roam America freely when I go take the gospel there. That doesn't mean that I won't go if Biden, still, Biden is still around. God has ways that, um, you know, operate in various ways that we men won't, I mean, don't understand. So let it be as ordained of God. Hallelujah.
Let it be as ordained of who? As ordained of God. Now, my warning goes to these paparazzi prophets. Uh, though I, did, I don't want to look cheap into talking about uh, Muto Mandevu, and he's called, uh, he's called, uh, he called himself that is Dr. Motishibi. Uh, Okusimba. Sasa Okusimba. Uh, kuma nafuatanga maubiri ya hapa. Especially visions ya hapa. Now he's already, he's already taken one of the visions from here. And he's, he's trying to trend with it. <laughs> Okusimba Ibro Thor. You want to die. He, they cut visions from here. Then they change language and uh, they trend with them. Visions are hapa. Tell you Okusimba Ibro Okiriak, munga takuwa. Ha, watu ni Ezekiel ni brothers. And all of us, just know vile Ezekiel appears in the hell. Okusimba, mefuate nyayo. And I didn't want to raise the issue because tomorrow is their day. But I want to tell those who receive prophecies. Prophecies are from here. Uh, people who follow us, uh, take prophecies from here, settle with prophecies from here. This is the place where God speaks. Hawa watu ni wezi. Hawa na kitu. Tulizima mataa yao. Hawa na kitu. They are empty shells. Even divination tulifunga. And so what they do is they angle here. And I've seen someone also on the world. Some of them should be in the thunder hour. People who just copy things from here plus our branding. God always has a judgment against those who steal prophecies. Remember I said that Gen Z is God's army. Now manisa kuonge tu hivi. You look at the, the time they uploaded their prophecies. It's just the moment we finished. Ah, what to see what we're doing. And it's like they are trying to compete. We are not in competition with any ministry. We have our own style of doing ministry. And uh, our style is God's style. We are not out to win people's uh, loyalty. No. Ours is to perpetuate the word of God. Proclaim it, let people be saved. But I feel so so bad about people who steal uh, prophecies from here. And, uh, you know, a prophecy that does not come with the Spirit of God cannot fulfill the mission of God. A prophecy that uh, is negated or negates the place of the Spirit of God cannot fulfill the purpose ordained of God. So when they steal, it's like uh, stealing what is God and using Satan to fulfill it. It can't work. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verses number 6 that um, it must kill. It must kill. So uh, such will kill. So I really send a warning to such uh, uh, criminals like uh, Okusimba, uh, who is Dr. Mutishbi. May the Lord Jehovah reign supreme and punish and judge uh, against such um, corrupt elements. Our Father, I thank you for today's word. I thank you for the prophecy. May it, Lord Jehovah, fulfill your agenda and your purpose. I ask the Lord Jehovah, you shall secure my life. And I will have the words of my mouth, Lord, as you've sent me. Lord, be followed up with your action and performance to the glory of your own name. Thank you, Lord. Have us remain humble, even as thou be exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray.